This is section 1-4. A great question, it says. When using the definition of slope, how do I know which point to call x1, y1, and which point to call x2, y2? It does not matter. Warm up. Find the slope of the line passing through the two points. We have the slope is equal to 7 minus 3, that's y2 minus y1, over x2 minus x1, so 4 thirds. Find the slope of the line passing through the two points, 3, so m is equal to 3 minus 7 over 2 minus 5, so negative 4 over negative 3, and that's 4 thirds as well. See, it doesn't matter. X1, Y1 is 2, 3. X2, Y2 is 5, 7. Switch those, and you still get a slope of 4 thirds. Write an equation in point slope form for the line with slope 6 that passes through the point 2, negative 5. Then solve the equation for Y. So Y plus 5, because it's really Y minus Y1, is equal to M. Uh, I shouldn't have put the M there. <clears throat> 6 times x minus 2. Then it says solve the equation for y. So y plus 5 is equal to 6x minus 12. I'm going to run the 6 through. And then minus 5. So 6x minus 17. That's a 1. 17. Checkpoint 3. Write an equation in slope point form. Point slope form. For the line passing through the points negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, negative 6, then solve the equation for y. Well, we need the slope. We have a point. As a matter of fact, we have two points. So negative 6 minus negative 1 over negative 1 minus negative 2. So that's negative 5 over uh, 1. Negative 5. Now, it doesn't matter which point you pick. So let's pick, I don't know, it doesn't matter, this one. So y minus negative 1 or y plus 1 is equal to negative 5 times x plus 2, because it's really minus negative 2. Uh, we have y plus, uh, let's see, point, right in point slope form. So I got it. There's point slope form right there. Check point 4. Graph the linear function f of x equals 3 fifths x plus 1. So we have a y-intercept of 1 with a slope of 3 fifths. Up 1, 2, 3. Run one, two, three, four, five. And then we draw as straight a line as we can. Uh, graph y equals three. y equals three. Well, here's where y is always three. There's y equals three. Graph x equals negative three. So here is x equals negative three. That line right there. Find the slope and the y-intercept of the line whose equation is in standard form. Then use the y-intercept and the slope to graph the equation. So let's get, um, well, let's do this. Let's go 6y is equal to negative 3x plus 12. So we'll add the 12 over minus the 3x over. So y is equal to, we're going to divide by 6. So 3, 6 is negative 1 half x plus 2. So we have a y-intercept of 2 with a slope of negative 1 half, so down 1 and right 2. There's another point on the line right there. So it says find the slope and the y-intercept. So slope is negative 1 half, and the y-intercept, you could put b is 2, that's b, or you could say, let's say y-intercept is 2. Graph using intercepts. So that's a little different. Graph using intercepts. Uh, let's do this. Let's go 3x minus 2y is equal to 6. Now, the, the y-intercept is where x is 0. So 0 comma something. And uh, let's see, that's the y-intercept. The x-intercept is when the y is 0. So let's plug 0 in for x, and we get negative 2y is equal to 6. So y is negative 3. So y-intercept is down here at 0, negative 3. And then if we plug 0 in for y, we get 3x equals 6. x equals 2. So the x-intercept is 2, 0. And there we have the line. Our graph is getting quite full. There we go.
In exercise 1 through 10, find the slope of the line passing through each pair of points or state that the slope is undefined. Then indicate whether the line through the point rises, falls, is horizontal, or is vertical. What if we just pick number 1? M is 10 minus 7 over 8 minus 4. So 3 fourths. And so this one rises as we go from left to right. What if we picked one where... Uh, how about the y's are zero? What if we look at number five here? So number five, the slope is negative two minus negative two over three minus four. So that's zero over negative one. That means the line is horizontal. There we go. Uh, but that that's zero. That's equal to zero. What about where the x's would be zero, like number 10? Let's say we try... Number 10 here, we got 5 minus negative 4 over 3 minus 3. And that's what this is, slope. Uh, so we got 9 over 0. Well, that's undefined. You can't divide by 0. So that means we have a vertical line. Use the given conditions to write an equation for each line in point slope form. And slope intercept form. So let's take a let's take a pretty easy one. I think number eleven is pretty easy. We got y minus five is equal to two times x minus three. There's point slope form, and then slope intercept. We just have to get y by itself. So we have two x minus six. So two x minus one. So there's number eleven. All of these. Let's see. Geez, all of these are the same. Uh, there's some different ones. 21 is different than what we just did, kind of. We have a slope of 1 half, and it goes through the point 0, 0. So we have y minus 0 equals 1 half times x minus 0. So there's the point slope, and here is slope intercept. Now starting with number 25... Uh, this is uh, this is a little different in that we have to find the slope. We just have to calculate the slope. So 10 minus 2 over 5 minus 1, that's going to be 8 over 4, which is 2. Well, that's nice. And then we just have to use one of these points, either one. So y minus 10 is equal to 2 times x minus 5. So there's the point slope form. And let's get y by itself to get uh, slope intercept form. So y equals, if I add 10 over, that's just going to be 2x. Give the slope and y-intercept of each line whose equation is given. Then graph the linear function. So give the slope and y-intercept. Well, here the slope is 2, and the y-intercept is 1. So y-intercept is 1, slope is 2, so up 2 over 1. And there we have it. That's, that's it. The only difference that we have is maybe maybe we try one where the slope is a fraction. So 45m is negative 3 fifths, but the y-intercept is 7. So we have a y-intercept of 7, then go down 1, 2, 3, and over 1, 2, 3, 4. So we just use rise over run. And the line looks something like that. On number 47 and 48, the y-intercept just happens to be zero for those two. Graph each equation in rectangular coordinate system. Looks like they're all either horizontal or vertical. Now, the only difference is that if this is like saying y equals 1. So this would be a horizontal line where y is always 1. And then it doesn't matter what the x is. With x equals negative 3, here's x equals negative 3 here. It's a vertical line where x is always negative 3. Rewrite the given equation in slope-intercept form. Let's do this first. Rewrite the given equation slope intercept form. Give the slope and y-intercept. Use the slope and y-intercept to graph the equation. So number 59 is 3x, 
3x plus y is equal to 5. y is equal to negative 3x plus 5. So the slope is negative 3, and the y-intercept is 5. So we have a y-intercept of 5 and a slope of negative 3. So down 1, 2, 3, and right 1 like that. I missed. I totally missed that dot, but hopefully you get the idea. Use intercepts to graph each equation. Maybe we just take 67 here, and we got 6x minus 2y. Let's get the 12 over to the other side. So we need 0 comma something. That would be the y-intercept. And something comma 0, that would be the x-intercept. Let's plug 0 in for x. When we plug 0 in for x, we get negative 2y is 6. Divide by negative 2. That's negative 6. Plug 0 in for y, and we get 6x equals 12. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. So 0, negative 6. That's the y-intercept down here. 2, 0 is that intercept right there. And then we draw the line in between those two points.